in the studio with me is Mr. James Oyede, the football historian and analyst. There's been a while he joined us here. We're going to be looking at the reason why we've still not started our league. Remember, James Oyede is with Tudu Mighty Jets. We just want to find out from him what I mean it means for Ghana football going forward. Because all the 32 nations we went to the World Cup, we obviously many of them have begun their league already. Ours is still on the hold because of a court issue. Thanks for joining us here, Mr. James Oyedeji. Thank you for inviting me and congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when, 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 when are you expected the league to start and why, why the delay because of um, Alaji Karim Gunsa who says he's taking the GFA to court because of the issue with his club being relegated and whatnot. Is it going to affect the performance of our league should it start late? And is this the first time that it's been dragged that way? Many questions and mm. few answers. Uh, I'm very optimistic that the league will soon start because the Honorable uh, Minister for Youth and Sports has decided, I think yesterday, to intervene personally to resolve the impasse between the GFA and, and uh, King Faisal Football Club. It's not a large pizza. It's, the, it's his club that has taken the GFA to court. And the court, the last week uh, that they met on Monday, the court adjourned the case to 28 uh, of this month. And I think uh, the court case is, uh, although on principle, King Faisal is right, but uh, for the development of our game, I think they should uh, subsume their club uh, interest into the national interest and withdraw from the case. That is question number one. Question number two, definitely going to affect our league. If you don't start in time, the sponsors will regret that they injected money into the uh, league. You understand? And three, this is not the first time. The first time, <laughs> coincidentally, involved me in two or three years. Uh, we had the uh, Miss, Miss Justice at the this one committee of the GFA, and we took the case to court. You understand? And the court persuaded uh, both parties to go and settle the matter outside the court. I remember Jesse Apalo said the uh, football people should go and settle their matter in the corridors of football and league with, with the court to enjoy the game. So we don't need to be involved. And I know there was a, a seminar that the judiciary decided to uh, dis dis think, uh, disengage themselves from football issues because the football issues are matters of the hearts. You understand? So I personally think that Alaji Bursa and Kifisa should draw this case and set it out of court. Do you think he would? Uh, he, he, he has not decided as of last night, but uh, with uh, the uh, minister's direct intervention, uh, I'm very sure that he will be persuaded to draw the case. It's a very delicate case. You see, what happened was that uh, th there's a clause, I can't quote it right now, whereby uh, when a club is fine, you are given a time frame to pay. And according to my investigation, the club paid. But the accountant of, at the GFA, not the main, not his family, I think the lady, uh, thought they had over overpaid. So she issued a half payment to them and returned the money. So when they now paid, they paid post the dates, uh, the expiring dates. So what... Uh, Professor is saying is that they do understand they don't comply with the rules and regulations of the DFA mm. because they, they didn't pay. <laughs> but they have shown evidence that they paid, but they were given a, a, a what do you call it, we call it a refund or something, which was in error. So we now decide which one is uh, paramount. Is it uh, to comply with the rules and regulations totally or to just uh, persuade? You know, in uh, management, we have to maximize. Uh, in law, um, uh, Lord Danny said that equity follows the law. This is the law. What well, can we persuade you? And then uh, when you come to uh, uh, what the project, financial sector, uh, the central bank will tell the commercial banks that this is what you should do. But if they said that we cannot do it because of this and that, then they use what is known as moral suasion. Mm. You understand? Like over a cup of tea, you cannot persuade the practitioners. All right, let's see how over a cup of tea Alaji Brisa is able, <laughs> they're able to cajole him yes, to withdraw yes, that yes. case. But Mr. James Oedeji, thanks so much for passing through. We'll definitely be continuing this series yes, so that so we much. enlighten most of the team in Ghana supporters about why the league is still delaying and if Alaji Karim Brisa and 